Welcome back to the channel, Oflexers. Thank you so much for clicking out today's video. This is a fun rogue deck that I've created for the expanded format that we're going to profile here today. So there was a fan favorite Friday video that I did a few weeks ago that I didn't have the cards for the winning deck choice in the comments section. So I decided to make a video on it uh, on a recent stream. And this is that deck. So thank you to Niles Eggers, Niels Eggers, for this idea for Steelix. EX and the Mega that goes along with it. Let's profile the deck, but first, if you haven't already, please make sure to go down below and subscribe to the channel. Really helps me out. And hey, if you like this content, you're gonna see a lot more of this in the future. So let's get into it. So this is our Mega Steelix EX deck. Let's just look at Mega Steelix EX. The most notable thing about Mega Steelix is that it's a dual type Pokemon, which means that we can utilize any of the special energy cards that go along with steel types or any of the special energy cards that go along with fighting types. Now let's take a look at what we are gonna use. We have stone fighting energy and this uh, special, fight, uh, special shield energy, special metal energy. So this uh, minuses 10 from your opponent's attacks if you have it attached, and this minuses 20 from opponent's attacks. So if you have these attached, you know, you're gonna tank a lot of hits, right? And then we also have Hyper Potion to heal all that damage when you do eventually take damage and you discard energy, but you can discard the recycle energy, get those back to hand, put them back down with our Porygon, which will show off in just a second. So that is kind of the combo here that we're gonna try to enact. And I've affectionately called this deck Helix because of the healing capability. Okay, it's a bad joke. I get it. I get it. You don't have to tell me. Please don't go in the comment section below and say, JW, you know, make better jokes. I, I understand. Okay. <laughs> So let's take a little more deeper dive. We got that Mega Steelix. Canyon Axe here is a decent attack. You're going to two-shot a lot of the VMAXs. Of course, you have dual typing, so you can swing into certain Pokemon that are both weak to fighting or weak to metal for double damage. That's pretty good if you're up against like a Picaram or an Eternatus or... I don't know, a Gardevoir Sylveon, I don't know, anything that's weak to one of those two types, you're gonna one-shot that. And then you do some 10 damage to each your opponent's bench Pokemon. So a nice little spread attack, not really that relevant to be honest, but 10 damage on like a Tapu Lele, and then you can knock that out with 160 from Canyon Axe. So it's not completely useless, but it's not the best either. Again, we're kind of molding this deck around the healing capabilities and the tanking capabilities of our Mega Steelix. So how do we get our energy into play. Well, we're going to do so via Porygon Z Crazy Code. We featured this Pokemon on the channel many times before, so go check out another video with Porygon, but that's how we get our special energy attached. Um, we also have one more way uh, besides, uh, let's see, Metal Goggles, right, to reduce the damage. We have one more way to reduce damage outside of special energy in the Metal Goggles, and that is via our Lucario Melmetal. So, you know, think about getting a full Metal Wall, you reduce damage by 30, and then you get a Metal, metal Goggles on, and that reduces by 30, so that's minus 60. And then maybe you get like one Shield Energy and two of the stone fighting. So that is 110 damage that your opponent can't do to your Mega Steelix, right? That, that's, a, that's a buff of 110. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing about the Mega Pokemon is that when you evolve them, they end your turn. So how we get around that is by utilizing this Steelix Spirit Link. Uh, so you play Steelix Spirit Link down onto your Steelix EX, and then you can evolve it into the Mega without ending your turn. Uh, but... We don't want to have the Steelix Spirit Link attached because we want to attach the Metal Goggles or reduce damage as much as we can. So we're going to play a Magearna, which allows us once per turn to take a tool back into our hand. That's how we get around that kind of uh, uh, frustrating little interaction there. We, of course, got a bunch of supporters. No VS Seekers in here. And we also didn't have room for Quick Balls. So what I opted to do was add more Capture Energy. Now, Capture Energy is going to be good to attach with um, the Porygon Z, right? to fulfill the attack cost of the Mega Steelix, but it's also really nice here to get out our basic Pokemon if we need them. So that is the list, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Helix deck. And remember, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to go down below and hit that big red button. Helps me out a lot. And hey, maybe even leave a comment, say, hey, JW, this was a really fun deck idea. I hope you do more of this or that in the future. Um, yeah, leave me those comments. I read them all. So I would be happy to uh, happy to engage. This is great. So we're gonna see three games here. Um, Two games that go pretty long. Again, the expanded format is kind of degenerate, and this deck is a little outdated in the fact that it's a mega Pokemon. There's a lot of restrictions on it. 
the fact that it has to wait a turn to evolve, the fact that it needs a tool to not end the turn, the fact that it has so little HP. I mean, the, the list kind of goes on and on. But you're going to see it set up, and I think it's a really fun, like, just deck idea. It's fun to make these kind of unique lists, even if they don't win a lot. Uh, it's, it at least expands kind of our horizons on what Expanded could be uh, in, in you know, certain modified settings. Maybe this is a great deck for you if you have some kind of modified Expanded format that you're playing with friends, right? Like, if you have no ADP in the Expanded format, or if you say the Mega Pokemon has to be your main attacker, right? If you think outside the box with these cards, this might be a deck that you would come up with. So, let's take a look at Mega Steelix EX. Ooh. Hate that for us. Hate that for us. All right, after this game though, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that giveaway. Don't let me forget, chat. <gasps> the exact matchup that we put the googly mooglies in for. Love you, baby. So why do they have Zashin? Hold up. They got Dragapult and Zashin. I'm uh, I'm perturbed. I'm truly perturbed. Why? Why? <sighs> huh? And there's a grass energy, huh? Something something smells fishy. Okay. Something smells a little fishy. <laughs> uh, oh man. Huh. Okay, Ultra Ball. Do that. Go there. Another intrepid. Oh no, they they drew off the crowbat. Okay, so, so it's an orbital dragapult deck. Okay. I I'm sorry. They wallied for nothing. Okay, this is uh this is our chance to win, ladies and gentlemen. We have Zashin ourselves. Let's go. I feel like the music is very epic and very fitting for this match. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Dope. Okay, what what you got, Trainer Psy guy? What you got, dude? This feels like it feels like me at the end of the workday today, just dragging my feet, <laughs> just dragging my feet. Oh yeah, okay. I guess I'll I'll push that code. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll make that jeer card. You know, Baird Keeper. Oh, we don't have a counter stadium. Oh, this isn't gonna go into play. Oh my gosh. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> it's the perfect plan. We don't have a counter stadium to Lysander Labs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bodied. 
so bodied, so bodied. <laughs> oh no. So bodied, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then this thing hits us for like way too much. Oh no. Oh. It hurts. It hurts. I guess we could try to... Hmm. We could try to like go for a... Try to go for... Like a Zashin into... The Steelix, maybe? Like, we definitely need two attackers, right? Oh my gosh. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's that's better. I think this is, this is all going according to plan. Um, it's exactly how I drew it up in my brain. Okay, we got, we got ends. We got ends for real. Okay, give me an N. Give me... Give me a Porygon. I, I guess I did ask for it, didn't I? I did ask for a Porygon. Okay, you know what, deck, fair enough. You gave me what I asked for. <laughs> you, you did what I thought you couldn't. You did what I thought you couldn't. Okay. Porygon. Porygon Z. They're just gonna pass? Oh, bless up. All right, I, I think we can do it now. I think we can actually do it now. Um, so we go crazy code. Crazy code. Let's, uh, let's get this guy out. Let's go hyper. One, two. Let's go crazy code. Go crazy code. And then do a little canyon action. See what I did there? See what I did there? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Nevertheless, he pogged. <sighs> you ever been so mad? You ever put, you ever put like six energy on a Steelix only to have it one shot, one shotted by an Orbital V Max? You hate to see it. Okay, next man up though. Next man up. Full metal wall. Yeah, try to try to destroy another Steelix, I dare you. Then again, I like I'm not gonna be shocked at this point. I'm not gonna be shocked if it if it ace if he ace rollus. It only has 240 HP, I know. Imagine a mega Pokemon against like a GX Pokemon. <laughs> like it's just no comparison. <laughs> it's just no comparison. Uh, it's savage. Hitting me with a Whitney. All right, at this point, 
Bruh. Bruh. At this point, I'm thinking our best chance to win is by deck out. <laughs> and that is... That is... Is saying a lot, considering there are still 19 cards left in my opponent's deck. Um, well. 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 Let's research. Okay. How many energy in the discard? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's half. Seven, eight, nine. Um, we can retreat into Crobbit and then Crazy Code and then Crazy Code and then be done with that. Maybe I attach here. Yeah, I, I think we attach there. Let's go for it. And then we'll trip it sward. And then future attackers. Hmm. Hmm. Cobalion might be a good card. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's a lot of like cute little metal Pokemon, right? The Magirna is nice for us because we can pick up our uh, we can pick up our tools, pick up the spirit links, and put down the metal goggles. So yeah, there's there's like a ton of stuff that we could do that would be kind of kind of cute. It's just it's just sadly deck space. You know, you just don't have a lot of you don't have a lot of space for uh, for what you want to do. So there's a couple energy there on the uh, ore beetle. Gonna do 50 damage. Would the double energies be away around the space? Like, um, what do you mean by that? Like, I think I know what you mean, but what what do you mean by that? Like, the uh, the counter energies? Potentially. Um, We could try to Iron Tail. Iron Tail might be our best... Our best route. You hate to say it, but... I mean, legitimately, Iron Tail might be our best route. Oh, I meant did not mean to press done. Oh, skirt. I want to be done with the ability. All right, so we're going to give him a free knockout here on the Crobbit. And then we got to figure it out from there. I was really hoping not to do that. Okay. All right, they got 10 damage on him. I think, I think we go for the Iron Tail. Like, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that's what we do, though. I, like, what, what's our other option? I guess we could Guzma up this thing and then say, hey, you don't have another Guzma, I guess? The Playing their lasers, they're gonna G-Max wave. How much how much are we taking here? I mean I I think we do it. I think we do it. Yeah, salami bear's with me. Thank you, salami. Thank you, salami bear. Um Do we even have five energy left? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't really. Okay. So we have to do something like this. And we gotta, we're gonna just Guzma up this guy. And then, I don't even think I, 
Yeah, I'll do damage, sure. Sure, why not? Let's search the deck. Let's see what we got left. Yeah, okay, so we got two metal energy left. Okay, so we need to, if we want to use Iron Tail, let's say they bring this up, we'll just have to retreat. I think they're going to go for Guzma. They're going to go Acerola, that's fine. Acerola. They're going to spread. Thank you so much, Neil, for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a great Friday. Happy 4th of July, Neil. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you get the joke, Neil? Do you, do you get it? Because um, it's an American holiday? Okay. Um, we will continue on. Nevertheless, he persisted. Um, and he... Well, it's the second here, but it's the weekend of fourth. Okay, you you understand. You understand. We're all we're all here, in it together. We we all get it. Okay. Um. Let's see. We retreat manually. No, 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 no. Okay, now we actually lose. We cannot win. Oh my gosh. Tragic, tragic, tragic. We cannot win. <sighs> okay. Next game, next game, next game. So we have to go for um, Zashin again. I think the Zashin was pretty good. If you keep running into Acerola, may I suggest the Scoopa Black Mime? Yeah, that could be cool. Yeah, that could be cool for sure. I could see it. Yo, not too bad, actually. What we're going to do is we're just going to keep attaching. Uh, we'll get the Porygon down next turn. We'll um, Intrepid Sward. Keep going there. So Quick Ball into the Zashin V, huh? And then an Energy Spinner. This is one of the craziest decks that we've ever played. So, oh, tell me it's ADP, please. Like, it has to be, right? It can't be anything else. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, it can't be anything else, can it? Um, do this. I, I don't know. Well, Intrepid Sward, I guess. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh yeah, dude. Oh baby, give me the double energy switch and the retreat. Yep, there's one. Count it two. No, 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 we, we play it out, we play it out. We play it out. There's nothing to really play out, but we do it anyway. They haven't played an expanded card yet. They haven't played an expanded card yet. Okay. Yo, they're just gonna attack. I love the, uh, I love the aggressiveness. Um... the GX attack. Who needs it? Who needs it? Who needs it? All right, we need uh we need uh the Luke medal, I believe. Yeah, J Jump Boost is, like, very confident that... <laughs> I mean, it's such a good deck. Like, I feel like even... Especially at the low elos, 
Like ADP is just gonna win no matter what you put it with. Like you could probably play at the low elos of expanded because that's probably what the most people play, right? Um, is like, yeah, you just, you gotta think that they're, they're all playing this expanded stuff because that's all the cards that they have. Like their best cards are, um, are expanded things. Well, we did get up the Mega Steelix, so who's laughing now? Who's laughing now, huh? Ouch. I got a bad feeling about this Scoob. I got a bad feeling about that Scoob. But did they account? Did they account for the uh, for the metal googly, gray googly moogly eyes? I don't believe so. Rare Condi. The Crazy Codeth. Um, Lucario Melmetal, why the heck not? Welcome to the show, buddy. Rescourge. Crazy Code. Brave Blade. Could we do it? So you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> Just believe. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. Okay, smart play, smart play. Yep, yep. Okay, they get the metal saucer. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, another ADP. Okay, okay. Energy switch. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ultimate raisin. We need another. Let's see. Does metal goggle save us? It kind of doesn't. Um, but we could maybe get a bunch of damage reduction stuff. So there's still a chance, I guess. Um, Chorus gives us the most cards. I think we go there. One off, huh? Oh, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait. Wait, we have Dedenne, I think. Yes! Here we do. The legend returns. The legend returns. All right, Dedenne, I need you. Crazy code. Dedenne. Draw six. No damage reduction, huh? I mean, I can't blame you, but at the same time, I can. We do get a Canyon Axe, which is pretty tight. Pretty tight, man. Okay, so there's a turbo patch. Getting heads, A, eh? getting the heads. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see you, I see you, Ultimate Ray. Okay, I see you, we're gonna take some prizes here. We are gonna take some prizes, let's go. Um, What if we did something crazy? What if we did like, we gusted the Zashin and then what if we, let's see, how could we do something crazy? We could, we could gust something, we could gust this, and then they don't have a switch. Seems extremely unlikely. Do they even have Guzma in here? They do not. 
We just straight up lose to a standard deck. Um. <sighs> Go there. Um. Do one of these, crazy code. And we cheese. We cheese. Full metal wall. Uh, maybe they don't have, maybe they don't have it like that. I don't know, man, how many energy they got left. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess they have switch. I mean, they have to have switch boss, right? I mean, it's literally just a standard deck, so they, they have to have Switch Boss. Um, let's go Crazy Code. Let's go N. Steel Fist. We got one left. Huh. I don't got a good feeling about this Scoob. Ah, uh, you know what? It's fair, fair. Well played, sir. Makey, you made us work for it. You made us work for it, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? We've been searching through the desert. <laughs> this this hand's a little bit better, but not by much. What do I think the biggest issue is for this deck or like in the world? All right, energy attachment. I think the biggest issue for this deck is getting is getting uh, Mega Steelix evolved. I'm gonna do this. We just need to draw cards, man. Cause like the steel, the the EX Pokemon, the Megas, right? You need the. Uh... You need the Spirit Link, or else you have to waste a turn. It's so rough. Scoop up Cyclone. The Crash. What kind of gnarly deck is this? No supporter. No supporter. No supporter. Well, it's just crazy, right? Because you got like, you got a basic Pokemon that does like almost as much damage for less energy, has an arguably better like secondary attack, um, and and has more HP. Like, what? That's that's absurd, right? And I feel like anytime we play a crazy deck like this, we always win uh, because of our supporting Pokemon, right? Like, we just won there because we had this card in the deck. There was no chance we were winning that if we didn't have that card in the deck, right?